Hello, and welcome to another episode of Demystifying Medicine. In this episode, we will be exploring the world of animal cloning. Although the topic of animal cloning is controversial to say the least, researchers and scientists alike have argued for ways in which cloning can be useful. But first, you might be wondering, what exactly is animal cloning? Well, according to the US Food and Drug Administration, cloning is a complex process that lets one copy the exact or inherited traits of an animal. Most famously, Scientists at the Roslin Institute, who were attempting to develop a new method for producing genetically modified livestock, cloned a sheep named Dolly. There once was a time where if this sheep passed away, there were no other options. However, due to the work of these scientists, as well as other researchers across the globe, the cells of one sheep can be used to make a new, yet identical sheep. To produce Dolly, other cells from a six-year-old Finn Dorset white sheep were used. The scientists were able to find a way to reprogram the udder cells to ensure they were alive, but also to stop further growth. The cells from the udder were then placed into an unfertilized egg from a Scottish black-faced ewe, which had its nucleus removed. This was crucial to ensure the genetic material was passed on. To ensure the sheep cell was fused with the egg, electrical pulses were used to stimulate fertilization. The egg was then implanted into the surrogate mother, which was another black-faced ewe. 277 cell fusions, 29 early embryos, and 13 surrogate mothers later. One pregnancy went to full term and Dolly the sheep was born. Dolly lived in the Rosslyn Institute, and she even mated and produced offspring. Unfortunately, at the age of 6, she was euthanized due to complications which are common in sheep raised indoors, including arthritis in the hind leg. In terms of the visual looks of the cloned animal, it will not look completely identical to the original. This is because, in conjunction with the genetic material, the environment also plays a large role in how an organism develops. This can be seen in the first cat to be cloned, who is a female calico cat that is very distinct from her mother. The difference in color and pattern of the cats cannot be attributed exclusively to genes and is thus the result of epigenetic and environmental factors. Now you may ask the question, why would we clone animals? Well. Cloning allows for researchers to make copies of animals with potential benefits for medicine and agriculture. In the case of Dolly, researchers were able to transfer human genes that produce useful proteins into sheep and cows so that they can produce these proteins. For example, Factor 9 is a protein involved in the treatment of hemophilia. The goal is that this protein can be purified from milk and given to those whose blood does not clot. After consulting with many independent scientists and experts in cloning, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration agreed that milk and meat from cloned animals such as cattle, pigs, and goats are equally as safe to those which are not cloned. This means that cloning methods can be used to make copies of animals with desirable traits such as increased milk production and leaner meat. However, due to cost restrictions, this may take several years before it becomes widespread. Another application of animal cloning is to create clones to build populations of endangered or possibly even extinct species of animals. This took place in the early 2000s where researchers produced the first clone of an endangered species known as a guar, or more commonly known as the Asian ox. Sadly, the baby guar, which had developed inside a surrogate cow mother, died just a few days after its birth. In 2003, another endangered species of ox called a bantag was successfully cloned. Soon after, three African wildcats were cloned using frozen embryos as a source of DNA. Some experts think cloning can save many species that could become extinct, while others argue that cloning produces a population of genetically identical individuals that lack the genetic variability necessary for species survival. Researchers have observed some adverse health effects in sheep and other mammals that have been cloned. These include an increase in birth size and a variety of defects in vital organs such as the liver, brain, and heart. Other consequences include premature aging and problems with the immune system. Another potential problem centers on the relative age of the cloned cell's chromosomes. As cells go through their normal rounds of division, the tips of the chromosomes, called telomeres, shrink. Over time, the telomeres become so short that the cell can no longer divide, and consequently, the cell dies. This is part of the natural aging process that seems to occur in all somatic cell types. As a consequence, Clones created from a cell taken from an adult might have chromosomes that are, al that are already shorter than normal, which may condemn the cloned cells to a shorter lifespan. For example, Dolly was cloned from the cell of a 6-year-old sheep whose cells have undergone many rounds of division, leading to chromosomes that were shorter than those of other sheep her age. As a result, 
Dolly died when she was 6 years old, about half the average sheep's 12 year lifespan. The last application of animal cloning that we will touch upon in this video is stem cell transplants. Stem cells, which go on to form all cells of an organism, can be manipulated to repair damaged or deceased organs and tissues. However, cells transferred from one person to another, such as in bone marrow transplants, are occasionally seen as foreign and trigger an immune response. To combat this, researchers are looking at cloning as a way to create stem cells that are genetically identical to an individual. These cells could then be used for medical purposes, possibly even for growing whole organs. Additionally, stem cells cloned from an individual with the disease could be grown in culture and studied to help researchers understand the disease and develop treatments. Overall, cloning is a relatively new method which requires more time and development in order to increase viability and to be able to be used on a more widespread basis.